It's just that when death pops up like that, it focuses things. And people nowadays have their bucket lists and all of that. I've been given nine months to this, I'm going to do all this. Why not do it anyway? Because we are going to die. Some people, I've got nine months to live, so I'm going to do all that, and somebody sitting over here, well, I don't have to deal with a lot, and they get run over as they step outside. Our death is always just behind us, and we don't know when it's going to tap us on the shoulders, as the old thing would be. So, my learning is that if, if we talk about death more, if we come to terms with death more, if we come to terms with this great certainty, it might empower us to live our lives better. I, I'll often say in a ceremony, for example, maybe this time, we, this short time we spend together here on the edge of death can remind us of the truly important things in life. Love, family, friendship, passion, a glass of wine, travel, stuff. But those things, and, and work that is soulful. So let's embrace it. It's, it, it's a powerful force for change. But if we ignore it, coming back to struggling with change, if we ignore it, we are sticking ourselves. We are making it more of a struggle. We will die. Get over it.